Young Park, who follows the company at Worry Investment Securities here in Hong Kong. Young has just come off that conference call, and uh, he's rated among the most accurate analysts for his calls uh, as tracked by the Bloomberg. Good to see you, Young Park. Good so what did they say on the conference call? Anything that stuck out to you? Uh, well, basically, uh, there was tens has been a bit changed from a negative to a positive comparing to the previous earnings conference, which was done in uh, Q4 11. But, um, yeah, well, just... Uh, their uh, attitude has been a bit changed to positive, and uh, they are pretty positive on the second half of this year. Really? Yeah, but you know, they, be, uh, they are a bit you know, cautious for the first half of this year. Okay, well, let me talk about the uh, mobile phone space, because really mm. that, that made up for their lagging sales in the panel, TV panels, LCD screens, whatever. Uh, but uh, we just came out with a result, or, or crossing the wires. But, you know, Samsung just lost its title as the world's biggest smartphone maker back to Apple. Isn't there concerns about rising competition there? Uh, of course, there is a concern over there, and uh, but uh, just uh, well, just uh, Apple's number has been like a you know, qu did like quantum jump in 4Q. That's because yeah. of like a kind of a deferred uh, demand that right before uh, like a iPhone 4S launch. So uh, well, just uh, in average during the second half of last year, uh, the Apple's like a smartphone shipment should be like a 25 million for each quarter. Mm -hmm. That's what they analyze. And right. uh, if we look at you know, Samsung's number, we well, just uh, it's, there was another like a, a quantum jump from like a 28 million. So are you to saying that there's enough for for everyone? Basically, there's enough to go, <laughs> enough business for Apple and Samsung, etc., etc. That's uh, that's it for uh, that's it for the smartphones. Well, just uh, Samsung and Apple are gaining market share over the other uh, handset players. Right. But so. of course, they're, they're in courtroom battles all the time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, still, the well, smart market is growing well, just in a very fast speed. So, uh, yeah, well, they are gaining market share, and the others are just maintaining their human number. So that's the situation at this moment. What about that R&D figure? Isn't that staggering to you? Uh, that's actually huge. It's well, just, huge. Uh, yeah. R&D, well, uh, let me give you just, you know, uh, Pretty, you know, uh, accurate figure about R&D. Well, just you know, for this year, Samsung is planning to spend like around 17 trillion won of R&D this year, and then just the remaining uh, 25 trillion won mm -hmm. will go to like a capital expenditure for uh, the you know fixed assets such as like a prop, you know properties or just you know, you know facilities mm -hmm. and then equipment. But, so. but that figure is not a concern to you. You know, we we question other tech companies that basically dole out as much uh, less R&D, mm -hmm. and they don't get that in return in terms of revenue and profit. So is this kind of a, a wasteful spending for the company? Uh, that might be true, but uh, Samsung Electronics, as of, as of now, they do have like uh, you know fast-growing uh, business divisions such as AM OLED uh -huh. and a system LSI, including like application processors. So and also you know smartphone markets. So all the, those numbers are like amazing. Yeah. So they do have like a three uh, fast-growing you know industry you know business exposure. So uh, I think you know uh, 17 trillion. Yeah. It's, it's legitimate it's to you? Yeah, efficient. <laughs> okay, yeah. so are you calling Samsung a buy? Is that what you're saying, Young Park? Yeah, at yeah? this moment, uh, our recommendation on Samsung Electronics is buy yeah. as target price of uh, 1.3 million won. Okay, where's that from here? Let me just uh, say, it's take a look around 20%. A 20% upside yeah. from here. When are we going to see that? Uh, is that going to be this year? Am I going to get those gains? Of course, of course. Well, just especially in the first half of this year. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm serious. That's wow. because, well, just that. Uh, well, according to my uh, like estimation, which is Samsung Electronics can realize close to six trillion won of operating profit uh -huh. in Q3. So right, right before uh, the earnings peak, uh, I'm actually assuming that you know, the earnings peak could be like a Q3 of this year. So uh, right before the peak, yeah. I, why not? Or just uh... that's impressive. Okay, <laughs> Young Park, good talking to you. Have All a right. great weekend. Good to see you.